welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to take you on a little bit of a deal here. I'm actually pre-fishing for a tournament, so I'm out practicing, trying to find some fish for a tournament. And so, of course, what we're trying to do is find the biggest uh, seven fish that live in this lake. And so we're going to take you along, see, show you kind of how we break down the areas of the lake that we choose to fish each day. And so we might start on some real shallow wood, go some deep wood, go to some docks and pontoons, what have you. But uh, we're going to take you along today and kind of show you how we, you know, change up colors, change depths. This is going to be a real informative how to get ready for a tournament. So come along. Now guys, we're coming off of a time of the year that we're coming off the summer into the early fall. And so the water temperature right now is 67 degrees. Yesterday it was 71 yet. So, uh, but we got some overcla overcast clouds and uh, supposed to rain, but uh, we, a lot of times these fish will go real super shallow. So um, you got to spend some time and what we call just keeping it honest. And so we're just dropping these baits in. This seems to be no water and a place like that could just produce a big one. And then sometimes it doesn't. Then we just got to keep moving. So sometimes you, you might fish a big stretch of bank and all of a sudden you get bit. It'll scare you as much as he scared the fish. Guys, I've been fishing wood for a little bit and uh, just catching a few little crappies. And so I'm going I'm to set up here. And we're going we're gonna to shoot some pontoons. Got this uh, little floating dock here, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit. See if I can't uh, generate some bites that way. And so what I got here is a, you know, this particular rod, six foot three rod, and I got a Bruce Mitch over, uh, brand new this year, twister tail. A shad body, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to slingshot it. I'm going to shoot it right up underneath that pontoon, just like that. See if we can't can't catch one here. And I don't know if it's because the rain's moving in. We got a little bit different front. I'm not sure, but just not biting that great. We're uh, caught some in the wood yesterday so i started off in some wood today some different wood in a different area of the lake you know always talking about you know tournament fishing and we're, we're out here practicing and we're trying to eliminate water so that way when it comes tournament day i'm not just out here kind of guessing you know i'm, I'm being very efficient with my time and and uh going right to where i think the fish are at but uh Oh, and I didn't talk about the line. I, I'm using a, on this particular rod, just a six pound mono. Uh, but, you know, if you wanted to go back further up underneath boats or docks, you know, you can switch to a four pound line. That four pound line will give you more velocity off the reel. But six pound line, I got a 30 second ounce jig head here. This uh, first pontoon we rolled up to, they, uh, they must be tucked away and not wanting to get rained on either, so. Uh, we're going to keep on keeping on. We're going to go find some other pontoons to hit and some wood. And stay tuned, guys. We're just still eliminating water. Now, a lot of folks will say, hey, you got to fish them little tiny baits. Now, watch this. I'm going to take this hook out of here and that whole bait. That whole bait, <laughs> he had that in his mouth. So I don't ever worry about whether or not it's too small of a bait, too big of a bait. Matter of fact, I, I, I tend to like to throw bigger baits just to try to get that bigger bite. And fished a lot of wood this morning and I never got bit. So I'm fishing pontoons and I'm getting bit. So um, what we call that in detective work or, or fishing, that's a clue. So you can't really start to put a pattern together until you get bit. That's all right. I mean, these obviously aren't tournament fish, but it's a sign of life. You know, that's 
giving us that idea. The one thing that's consistent about this set of pontoons is I don't think I got to worry about coming here during the tournament. So again, we, we talked at the beginning of the, of the, of the episode of the segment that we are eliminating water, pre-fishing for a tournament, and I was gonna bring you along. And then just, you, you, sometimes the areas that you pick the fish, and, and you, you, you may have a day where you don't hardly catch any at all, but it's just that section of the lake. So, oh, I was hung up in the cobwebs and had a fish on at the same time. This cobwebs, you gotta figure out how to put that on a reel. Also, you can see the distance I'm away from the pontoon. Man, if you get, if you try to get up on top of this pontoon, you really just can't get a really good cast back in there. So give yourself some time for that bait to flatten out and it'll take it right up underneath there for you. All right, well, we're gonna go back. We're gonna fish a Another little section of wood. So when we come back after these important messages, we'll be fishing some wood, see what we can do. <laughs> well guys, I came up on this. Uh, I mean, this looks, this looks fishy as all get out. But uh, the only thing I'm catching in this area is just little fish or just, just not getting bit at all. So, you know, when you're practicing, you got, you know, you're trying to cover water, um, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep moving. And I think that's what we're gonna do here in just a couple of minutes is we're gonna go pick a completely different section of the lake and, and see if it's, if it's an area thing or it's a section thing. Um, you know, yesterday I, I got on some fish, Whoop. not a tournament fish, but look at this guys, look at this. So this is a two inch bait. I don't know if the camera guy can see where that bait's at. Look at that. Good Lord. And see the bait. And again, that's a B and M crappie baits, triple tail. Two inch bait, that little crappie had a two inch bait all the way in his throat. So it, uh, you know, I, I, I'm hoping, you know, yesterday you catch a few little ones and then you catch a big one. And, but I'm just, I'm not even getting the big ones or even a nice keeper size out of here. So we got to keep moving. We got to keep uh, uh, eliminating water. And one of the tough things is, is, you know, when do I move, when I don't move? And I've given this whole area, now that's a big area, uh, but uh, I've given this area a, a really good hour, an hour and a half, and uh, I've really got nothing to show for. So guys, we're going to go move to a completely different section of the lake, uh, get a little bit different scenery. I'm going to drink a Diet Coke, maybe have a cookie, and that always makes everything better. Move to a little different section of the of the lake and still the same size fish so I don't know if all the biggins are sleeping in but well, they're getting smaller folks but what's cool though is uh, getting bites so we keep putting pieces to the puzzle together Although these puzzle pieces are really small, we're still kind of figuring stuff out here a little bit. And you know what it's starting to be like? This you ever read the back of a shampoo bottle? And, and there's actual instructions on the back of a shampoo bottle. It says rinse, lather, and repeat. I keep casting on right there, keep catching this doesn't make sense so we're gonna to go to another section guys um, one of these times we're gonna land on a big one. had to just let him run to the side with it 
It was almost like bass fishing. With the, they just, you know, they're so small. You gotta let them run with it before you can set the hook. I was helping uh, Jeff pre-fish. Continues to be the same pattern. This one, this one be real close to touching, but I think he's just gonna be short, but. Come right to the pontoon, it's almost automatic, isn't it? This is this is almost a giant compared to what we we've been catching. But this is this is definitely a keeper. I mean, he's long, long and skinny. But again, you know, not a tournament fish, but you know, um, that's a little bit better than average what we've been catching underneath these tunes. But it's also where we're getting bit. And, you know, we talked about you know breaking practice down. You know. I go fish something else and I come back to a pontoon and get bit right away. I go fish something else, come back to a pontoon, I get bit right away. So it's, oh, I don't know if the camera's picking up some of the, where you see my line jump. I mean, they're, how these fish can be together, but I said do for a big one and I keep catching, I think they're getting smaller. So if somebody says you can't fish that big of a bait and catch crappie because it's too big, well, oh, this one might be a little, well, he just took me sideways and I got excited. They like that uh, B and M. Crappie Bates Twister Tail, though. Goodness, I almost called for the net. This is a bona fide keeper. We don't have to measure. Again, not a tournament fish, but man, that's just dang fun. <laughs> folks at home, folks at home. We'll get you some B&M, crappie baits, twister tail. Check out that boot. A little boot tail there on the end. Just makes it thump and kick and man. You know, some days, you know, you just catch a bunch of little ones. But man, it sure is fun. So well, guys, day one practice is a wrap. Uh, pretty uneventful. A uh, lot of little fish. Catfish are biting today now that the rain showed up. But uh, you know, hoping that you know the weather stabilizes somewhat and these fish can uh, get back to normal duties. But uh, so far, uh, I don't have anything to go to. Day one is a story of a bunch of little fish, and that's a lot of fun, though. I mean, just just to get bit, you know, you fish off the bank fish out in a boat and you sit there and get no bites that's her that's horrible but uh i'm, I'm thankful for the bites we've got today uh, but uh tomorrow uh you know today uh, let, let's look at today today the pontoon bite was was where it was at uh they were definitely not in the wood uh and so uh, but that can change so we'll fish the pontoons tomorrow some different ones and in between we'll just check the wood we'll just kind of kind of keep that wood on us a little bit and uh, we'll see what day two brings us and we'll just uh, keep grinding and like I always say never stop never stop stay tuned folks day two practice video will be coming really soon after this one thanks guys